This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. I am Mercedes Iman Star, and my, my special guest today is Miss Stacy Lane Matthews. Okay, I broke in here today to ask her why she charged the kids five dollars to take a picture with her when she went out of town on a bucket. Miss Day, um, Miss Stacy, why you charge the kids out of town five dollars to take pictures with you? Huh? You, you can't say nothing now. You got quiet, Stacy. You can't say nothing. What's wrong? I bet if I put a piece of dick in your face, I bet you open your mouth up. Take your ass on. You late and your drag late, Miss Day. Okay, fuck that hoe. Spare change. Spare change. Spare change. <laughs> Thank you, my royal servant, Pierre. I am so glad to see you guys here for another raw view. I hope all of you have been diligently, eloquently, sophisticatedly doing well. I do say the weather outside is quite protrude, if I must say myself. <laughs> Life of a diva queen. Hey guys, y'all know how we do it here. Y'all know this is a place where you come to keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. What's up? It's your girl or boy on some, well, boy all the time, but girls on sometimes. But Pierre, aka Nina Bonina Banana Fanta, Saint Brown of Riverdale, Georgia, Saint Royal. I'm acting. So yeah, um, Good to see you guys. So, some of y'all that follow me on all accounts and stuff, y'all know that I'm a little behind on things because um, I was going through it. When I tell y'all, I somehow, some way, my body wanted to accumulate a kidney stone. Yes. And I didn't know what it was. Okay, so every now and then I have this thing that happens to my body. No, not a period. Where, like, I, I, I can't explain it, but it's like, sometimes I'll just, like, wake up, have stomach cramps, right? And then I'm like, okay, let me try to use the restroom, which, side note, I have a hard time sometimes, like, doing number two. I used to think it's because I was sickening, you know, back, back when I was at the bottom, I was like, that means I'm clean and all those other hoes are dirty and funky because my hole barely goes. <laughs> But anyway, I think I have, like, I, I, so I have constipation and stuff. I've never been diagnosed with, like, colitis or anything, but I wonder, is that, I don't, anyway. So I wake up, be struggling for dear life to try to, like, go to the point where, like, my body overheats. And, like, I don't want to wear nothing. I just want to lay on the floor naked. I don't care if it's dirty. I'm just laying on the cold floor naked just to cool off. And then I'll finally go. And then when I go, it's, like, my body breaks into a cold sweat. And it's like, kind of like a relief. Like, I got that out of my body, that toxic stuff or whatever. So, the same thing happened maybe, uh, when was it? Oh, last week or so, whatever. I woke up. Stomach was hurting. I'm like, okay. I'm like, it must be that time again. That time of, that, that time of the month. And I go to the restroom. Or trying to go. Go downstairs, right? Going and squeezing for like, what felt like hours. Probably hours. And But it got worse and worse. It was like, I kept feeling this side radiating pain on my left side of my stomach and the back side, so the left side. And I'm like, is that, like, I feel like I'm going more, I'm going through more than I normally do with my little um, spell that I, that I go through. 
it got so bad, like so bad to the point where I was just like, I couldn't even stand. Like, like, like I just had, a, like, I was, I was starting to cry. I went upstairs. <laughs> Somehow made it upstairs. I, I I dragged myself up there like I was in the army. Like just 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 using my 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 is it called shins or <laughs> whatever it is elbows. Like I'm in Call of Duty going up the stairs and I'm like opening my my mom's door. It's like my mine just like three. It's like probably three. Wait no. By then it it probably was five o'clock a.m. Because I got up around I think three a.m. I'm like pulling on my mom like help me. <laughs> I thought I was dying. And like she's like L, cause L, she, she thought it was L, but it was, but it was like it was me. And like I was just like in so much pain, and I was like, she was getting worried, and I started really like kind of screaming and crying, and like L got scared, cause she never she hasn't been through somebody going through something like that before. I felt bad, but like when you're in that kind of pain, you can't hide it. You can't even like be like, well, sorry, like you you gonna have to see it, you know. And then my dad got up, my sister got up, and they thought maybe it was like my appendix, or whatever. But anyway, kind of find out they end up calling the ambulance. But the fire, I guess when you call the ambulance, fire fighters come first. I don't know why, but they came and it was like three white guys. Like, oh lord. <laughs> and I'm just like looking like a damn, looking like a shit zoo, like just looking a mess. But I, but I don't care. And they're just going through it on the couch, and I'm like telling them like what's going on, and they're like, sounds like a kidney stone, I'm like, in. And it wasn't in the appendix because your appendix on your right side, but we didn't know that. And I'm like, kind of embarrassed, like them to come way over there for a kidney stone. But kidney stones actually are really serious. Like they're actually really serious things that sometimes people have to get like broken down because they're too big to pass. But we wasn't too sure. But they were like, you know, they offered me a ride to the ambulance. But my mom said they'll take me. Thank God, because who knows what those three white men would have did to me. Now that I think about it, why didn't I go then? <laughs> so basically, when I think about it, Claudia was cop blocking. Chad. But anyway, so, oh, I get to the hospital because Lord knows the ambulance wouldn't come anytime soon. Now, you know, I never knew this, that they charge, like, ambulance, they charge you, like, a bill, whatever. I thought that that was just, like, courtesy, like, somebody's dying or whatever, or somebody needs help, let's go get them. Like, now they charge you. Child, what kind, of world, what kind of world do we live in? But anyway, get to the hospital, and I'm waiting, of course, to come in the ER. But by then, like, I, I, my body wasn't, I wasn't completely dying. Like, before I was, like, on a... A scale of one to ten, the pain was like twenty. You know, and we finally got to the back and seeing the nurse and doctors, da 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 da. Pete and a couple had a little blood by then. They did a CAT scan and stuff like that. Finally they waited, they came back finally, was like, like, yeah, I do see a little tiny, tiny kidney stone. Like really small, like that, you know, it's worked itself from from your back to like the front. You know, the, you know, the kidney, whatever. And um, it's pretty much going toward the bladder. So I guess it was moving. That's why, I guess whenever it moves, it causes all that pain, whatever. And I guess because it's so sharp. Like, it has sharp edges, like a rock, whatever. And I guess our tubes are really, really small. So I was just like, oh, wow. So anyway, you know, he gives me some, like, pain medicine. He, I was hoping that he would give me Flomax. Flomax is the thing that people use to, like, help them pee more and, and it opens up the tubes, whatever, more. Anyway, come to find out, I had a kidney stone. I forgot I had a kidney stone right after Drag Race. Like, right after Drag Race, for my very first booking from Drag Race, there, I had a kidney stone. I didn't know what it was, but then I found out it was a kidney stone. But I remember it was pain, but I don't know if it was this painful just like this time right here. I'm telling y'all, after Drag Race, I was cursed. I don't know who. I'm telling y'all, I'm like, somebody cursed me. Got a kidney stone. Y'all remember I had good, good, great skin. My skin started getting bad. Shades start clearing up. <laughs> That'll be another story. Finally, I, I went to a urologist at like maybe like a day later or whatever because I started getting, I got it, I got in that pain again the next day. Yeah, the next day I got, it, I got in that pain again. Went to a urologist and um, they saw the charts from the hospital and was like, yeah, it's it's it's, it's pretty much she, she drew where it was and everything. It was like low at the bottom of my bladder, so it was like getting ready to like I guess leave. But she went ahead and like scheduled me for like a surgery just in case, like where they like go up your peen. And like pretty much suck it out because mine was so small that it didn't need to be broke down or anything. Um, but she said, just in case she thinks that she thinks it'll pass before then, so she actually gave me Flow Max. Thank God. I took that when I got home, and um, I, I pretty much started feeling better like, I really was feeling better. So, you know, yesterday I was peeing, whatever, because they gave me a filter thing to pee in, but I didn't have it at the time. I was peeing, and I felt like I felt something, but I was like on live. I wasn't paying attention. I felt like a little something like come, and then I looked in the toilet. And I was like, "Oh, it's a little thing down there." I'm like, "That a piece of doodle?" Like, cause I wasn't looking. <laughs> got some gloves, got it, 
and it was like kind of hard. I was like, okay, that has to be it. And I guess I peed it out. And here's the picture, or whatever. Well, that's the picture right there. Um, it's not as big as it looking, but I was also told that trying to pass a kidney stone is worse than birth. And I literally heard it from somebody who like had three children. I heard from another lady. I mean, Google says it, and I believe it. I think they said the other thing that's worse than giving birth is being burned alive. But, but like, no, like I believe it. Like, that a kidney stone probably is worse than giving birth. If anybody's experienced that, that's giving birth, please comment below. Let me know. Really tiny. It, look, it, it may look kind of big in that picture, but like, you know, it's really tiny. In fact, I lost it. I was trying to keep it and show off my stones to all my homeboys that look, I'm a man. But anyway, that's gone now. So, so that was story time about my kidney stone. <laughs> I don't know, people think, you know, it's because of diet and different things, you know, it could be certain medication you're taking, stress, I don't know, but like, because there's like two kinds of stones, there's like, one that's made of like acid and something of calcium, whatever, so I, because I lost mine, I can't, I can't get it tested, but I'm going to assume it's acid, I'm going to assume that, but, so I've been drinking, I, in, my, in my mind, me drinking one bottle of water a day is enough, in my mind, but I can't even drink more water, I guess, because water apparently seems to be the answer to everything, mm-hmm. I'm kind of back now, and yeah, so let's go ahead and, um, that's why I didn't do season two Raw View, because I was really sick during that time, so I may get back to doing that again with Mystique, but, um, yeah, I'm go ahead and read some comments, you know, I read the tips on the season two video, but if y'all would like to tip and support, please do, all the information is down below in the description box, thank you in advance, tipping is not a what, a country in China, and then make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Speaking of tipping, y'all let me know if y'all want to see Stacy Lane on here. Like people want me to bring her on. Like the thing is, I don't mind, but in my mind, being that you know we stopped talking, not nothing happened, but we stopped talking. Like it's like she, we don't talk. So I don't like I don't want to be bothering nobody. That's how I feel, right? But like I feel like I kind of want to bring her on. Just just even even if it's not for a whole raw view, but so she can kind of just explain what she's going through if she wants to because she's going through a lot like like just like physically hospital wise bills and stuff so i don't know maybe i'll bring her on maybe y'all can help her out whatever so let me know or just pray for her but a lot of people you know think you know that has helped her and she hasn't been able to pull through of her words sometimes think that oh yeah you're just taking our money but maybe she just really just can't work you know she really can't go so Oh, I didn't take, but sorry, this look, this is from an AI. Like, you know, like when those, had those apps, whatever, you put your picture and AI generates all these pictures of you and nine, most of the time it looks nothing like you, <laughs> but, um, or they have some stupid designs, but this is AI inspired. So it inspired, I was like, you know what, let me do this look that AI inspired, that was inspired by me, that AI did. So yeah, this is my own little spin on it. I may even do a couple more looks that AI generated for me to see can I do it or not. So yeah, that's this 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 is where this look is from. You know, I'm actually not gonna read the tip. I'm mean, not read, read the comments. I'm like, I feel like I just I don't know, just like I don't know. Even though it's not like even though it was just last week, but I'm just not like in the mood. Like I'm still kind of I'm kind I'm still kind of recovering in a way where I'm kind of just like you know a little tired and stuff like that. So but I I'm gonna go ahead and read the tips. Though. I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and read the tips because it's been like. I missed the last season two thing. So I'm going to go ahead and read the test and just do that and do a jamming and then get to the show. Oh, some of y'all may know, um, just to, because, you know, YouTube, you know, they added me a part of, I guess, a part of their pride thing this for the for the month, whatever. I guess, I guess they added certain other people like Trixie and them. But anyway, because they reached out to me a while ago and they, um, I guess, was like, they want to use some of my pictures, like probably six or so, did like a, what they call a carousel, I guess, or just my multiple pictures. Anyway, they finally posted it. You know, I couldn't really enjoy it because um, YouTube, unfortunately, gets on my nerves. Like, <laughs> it's like doing a job that you just don't like because, like, they're not really fair in how they treat people. I feel like, you know, like, a lot of y'all tell me that y'all feel like y'all don't get notifications. But then, once again, because a lot of y'all don't stay up with my work and what I'm posting. So, when you do that, they think you don't want to be engaged. But on the same time, they also just do things shadily as well. But anyway... Cause you know, cause so like I couldn't really enjoy the post cause I, was, I, I, I couldn't fight it. I, like I've been, I had to say to them again, I'm like, can you please fix this whole shadow ban or blacklisting thing that y'all been doing? Because I don't feel like my people are seeing my stuff. I literally said that on the post. I'm like, thank you for posting my work. But at the same time, it's like, can you fix what you need to fix? They're like, oh, we'll look into it. And I guess they did email me. I haven't read it yet. But um, anyway, just as always though, like those posts like that, like you have all this negativity on there. Like it's hard to really like go on there and want to read the positive comments because it's all the so-called 
heterosexual people that like just there just to be clowns like you know they're always like oh what is this and how did i get here you got there by clicking on the video by clicking on the pictures like i mean you clearly got your nasty finger and said i want to see this post so i don't know people just kill me how they act so crazy when it comes to somebody doing or let's say a black person a gay guy doing makeup things that they see in movies all the time you know um sfx stuff like that but then when you do it on a post instagram it's like what is this but anyway all that hating because it doesn't matter because i even you know i, I got more engagement at likes than I'm, I'm just saying trixie and them so it's like <laughs> let it be known that if these people wanted to actually share my work and actually let me be seen in algorithms mama would be up there because people because she's talented so anyway y'all should go to that post on youtube go like the post and go curse people out in there how about that <laughs> Now I was going to go, get ready to go read my um, tips from Cash App, and you know, cause I haven't like been on there, been on there, you know, I guess what a week, only a week, right? <laughs> and it's like having me log in, like I'm logging in. I'm like, okay, and then it's like, your account has been closed. What? And then I'm googling like, what does that mean? What are like suspicious activity? I'm like, and then it says like, Cash App can close your account if you receive or send large amounts of money. So if people are sending you money that they deem to be a lot of money, they can just close your account? What? So what about the people that have tipped me on here and they're probably like, where are our money going? So anyway, if y'all are tipping me this week, don't tip on Cash App until I can call them tomorrow. Don't tip Cash App because I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know. That's like some weird stuff like closing your account because you're receiving money. What? Are we not supposed to receive money? Like, I don't understand. I don't get it. So yeah, if you're gonna tip me this week, do PayPal or Cash, I'm sorry, or Venmo. Something like that, yeah, Venmo or, or PayPal, so thank you. But anyway, so I can't read, if you did tip me on Cash App, I can't, like, when I loaded in, I saw some tips that I haven't got to yet, but then it started, like, disappearing. So, I, I apologize. Thank you, Ruquia Ayala, thank you. Um, thank you, Foster Roosh. Thank you, Cameron Smith. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you, Simon Rivera. Thank you, Andrew Gala. Thomas Gigolo. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Richard Matchman. Thank you. Thank you, Tanwer Yasin Bang. Yasin Bang. Thank you. Andrew Daly. Thank you. Cameron Clunez. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the comment. Thank, thank you, Kent Boston. Thank you, Daniela Costa. Thank you, love. Thank you, Fran Hawk. Carlos Alva, as always. Thank you, Michael Mental. Thank you, uh, Mark Deacon. Deacon, it's a Deacon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Steve Romero, as always. Thank you, Kane Keatley, as always. Thank you, Maurice Lennon on Joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, those are all the tips. Thank you guys for your wonderful tips. And once again, if you did tap me on Cash App, I can't see it because they're acting a fool. So we'll try to get that, get that fixed soon. They're closed on Sunday, so can't call. The song that I'm doing for my jamming is going to be... Have I already done this song? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Wait, have I? Y'all don't get old. <laughs> but the song that I'm going to do... Because this, I don't know, this look is giving me... Even though it's like Queen, it's very Bridgerton. But like, it's also a dream to me. So I'm going to do Mary J. Blige, A Dream. This song you can't find on like iTunes. Maybe you could find it on Spotify, but it's not on iTunes. And I wonder if it's because, like, it was on a soundtrack. I don't know if she, like, really ever... I mean, it has to be officially released if it was on a soundtrack. For some reason, you can't find it on iTunes, but you can find it on YouTube. But anyway, it's called A Dream. It has this... Wait, have I done this song? <laughs> anyway, because like, I'm, like, thinking, like, I recall having a conversation being, like, them, like, uh, multiple artists have used this beat. I think Blackstreet did, like, that she's using in this song. Anyway, it's fine. The song is A Dream by Mary J. Blige. Here we go. A dream, a simple fantasy. I love this. This, she, me, this song for me, she has a few, song, a few songs that put me to move, but like this song and all that I can say have this almost like magical fairy tale kind of thing to it. It's very heavenly to me. It's very like, I just get lost on a cloud, this song. Like, it's the beat of the way she's singing it. It's very also Disney to me, Once Upon a Time. I did, no, no, um, I did, I walk with you one, yeah, once upon a dream. Like, I think that's what she's inspired by with this song, I think. But this beat, yeah, this beat has been used by multiple, like, um, R&B artists. 
But yeah. Last night I dreamed that you were. And we were in each other's arms. It was all so heavenly. Yes. As we danced I live for that little background. Uh, 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 yes. We have so much. Oh, I live for the power chills. And the music stops. Ow. It was just a dream. Yes, Mary, come on, girl, girl, go, oh, Auntie Mary, girl, oh. That'll make y'all just drift off. Like, just, just, just like, I don't know, just like be, when you're in one of your, one of your zones, where you kind of just want to just think and just be to yourself, just play this song and just, let it just carry you. Let it just carry you to like another dimension, another just vision. Just just let it carry you. It's 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 very that kind of song. Once more. Once again, another song that should have had a music video. So many songs that have been out that deserve a music video. I go back to Brandy, Angel in Disguise. What the heck was wrong with her? Rodney Jerkins and that damn record label. Why did Angel in Disguise not have a freaking music video? And they were in the song was being played on the radio. It really was. Like I don't think it was like she released it as a single, but the radio stations liked it so much that they were playing that song a lot. And they should have had a music video because it could have been a sickening, sickening, beautiful, heavenly video. Y'all didn't catch that. Y'all didn't catch that. Like, the music literally stopped for a second. And then came back. Stop! Mary J. Blige. I swear, I always have... Sometimes I'll have random thoughts. I don't know why, but I'll have random thoughts of her just like... Am I... Like, today I had one. Like, she... Like, she's a part of my family. And she just comes over and, like, she's kicking up my mom and then my aunties just, like, eating crab legs. And just, like... <laughs> like, in my mind, she really is... My auntie, like, 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 she really, <laughs> she really is. I have a picture, like, when my grandma was younger, and I swear she kind of like, like Mary J. Blige. I'm like, I swear that woman could be in my family. She was like, <laughs> okay, now this is the part, for real, where you really drift away. Now, don't be in a tub, because you may drift too much and drown. But if you can keep your head up and float in a tub, then do it. Light you some candles in a nice hot tub, and just lay in this part right here. Let the beat and the harmonies just take you away from all this hate going on in this world. Let it take you. Let it take you. Let's go. Going for the breath. Yes, it's so magical and so dreamy. A dream, the song, a dream. It's so dreamy, it really is. Ooh. Yes, and having the whole like orchestra gospel in the background singing this part is actually it's very Disney. It's like you know when the song comes to a climax, and it has like the whole like opera singing in the background. Like th like this song is like a classic, beautiful song for real. And to and to, to add all those harmonies together with the whole gospel, whatever in the background singing the the lyrics, it really is a fairy tale. It really is to me. This is literally the R&B version of Disney, a fairy tale. <laughs> oh, you, 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 you. I'm done. Why y'all looking at me? Stop looking at me. Turn another way. Don't look at me right now. I'm in the zone. Don't look at me. You know how I see that thing in the corner when I'm doing do 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 do. This time, that thing's in front of me. So don't, don't think I'm looking at y'all. Whatever that thing that be in the corner is right in front of me right now. Okay, I'm back. Okay, well, that was Mary J. Blige, A Dream. And that was jamming with Pierre. And that's been jamming with Pierre.
Okay, you tired, busted monkey hoes. Let's get to the show. Hold on. I forgot that my piggies, or my really true piggies, the ones who are like the dirtiest pigs of all, the one that have like mud in between their cracks and hooves, like the funky piggies, the ones that just like don't know when to leave the hog pen. Those pigs. They got me, I guess, an early birthday gift because I guess they're getting old too and they're gonna forget that my birthday is in July. So they got me an early one because for some reason they're rushing my year or uh, I don't know, like maybe they know something, else. I don't know. Maybe they know I'm gonna be dying soon, who knows? But anyway, they gave me a gift. I haven't opened it yet, I was waiting for raw view. So yeah, let's see what this, I was told to be nice when I opened it. So it must be some bull. Cause I'm like, why are you asking me to be nice? But okay. Well, as you can see, it's clearly not a Chucky doll because now mind you, I'm assuming it probably was, I don't know, let's say five or six piggies. I don't know. And this is the best they could do. An envelope. But I'm gonna be grateful because my name is Grateful Dees and it's all I know to be is grateful. So here we go. <laughs> oh God, I'm scared. Girl, this, this better be some kind of big ticket to a round trip to somewhere, some where I'm gonna just stay in a hotel and not really go travel, do anything. But um, like, a, like yeah, like a trip to like, I don't know, Honolulu. Yeah, I'll go there and be in a hotel the whole time, but <laughs> that's all. Some pieces of paper. This is the best y'all could do. I'm looking in the bottom for like maybe a diamond or uh, there's nothing goes in here. Hello, hello, hello. Anything? That's it. Okay. Well, I guess I'll at least read the paper, I guess. Zer he air. Oh Lord. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would y'all do this? <laughs> what? No they didn't. Girl, y'all know. Y'all know. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> I am <laughs> No, I'm going to, no, uh, I'm too lazy. Like, do I even want to go? <laughs> I don't want to leave my house. I don't want to go. <laughs> so anyway, these stinking piggies, they got me, <laughs> they got me a ticket to, uh, I guess two tickets, I'm assuming. I have a ticket. Now the question is, how are the seats? Like, are the seats good? <laughs> a ticket to see... The Escape SWV tour that has Escape SWV, 702, Maya, which I love. I, I, I am really more want to see 702. They got me a ticket for that. Wait, VIP? Where? For which one? VIP for which one? Are y'all serious? But I'm buying, oh, what the hell? But I'm buying my, a meet and greet. Oh, hell no. <laughs> for, oh, I'll get inside. I thought they had for Mr. Yelly. Never mind. <laughs> but they also got me a ticket for Missy Elliott's tour with Sierra and Busta Rhymes. What the hell is wrong with these people? Like, they know I like to stay in the house. I am quite comfortable sitting in my bonus room watching the concert with them on Twitch. Why are y'all sending me out my house into this crazy world with all these crazy people and all the traffic that you could think about? Why are y'all sending me here? Wait, Missy's giving me a free tra a free trash bag? That's nice of her. <laughs> I don't know which seat. <laughs> so I have tickets to go see Missy Elliott and SWV. <laughs> oh my God, y'all are so lame. Oh. Y'all are so lame. Oh. <laughs> Girl, y'all could, I mean, but I'm just saying, y'all couldn't do like maybe get one more ticket for somebody else. I'm just saying, like, you know. So I go by myself? No. Just <laughs> so, okay, it says, Happy birthday, Pierre. It says, Thanks to Elijah who put this together with big help from Rain and Teresa. And true petty is great fashion. Here is a list of everyone who contributed, contributed money for your birthday gift from highest amount to lowest. Oh, LOL, shady. <laughs> oh, that's shady. Petty to the end. Hope you have a great time. We love you. It says... <laughs> Oh, it's 28 people. What, dollars? She will be the last one, old cheap whore. What, what she do, $5? $2? Oh, oh, cheap whore. Anyway, Reigns number one. 
<laughs> two is Lynn. Girl, he need to be one because he hadn't tipped me in, tw in 20 years. Two is Lynn. Oh, three is Jordan, my honky-dory husband. Four, Kine. Oh, Lord, I have to be nice to the Kine. Damn. Eli is fifth. Okay. Teresa is sixth. Seven is Squishy. Eight is Taronda. Nine is Luke. Hannah, ten. Eleven is Robert. Twelve, Deontay. Thirteen. Why are all the black folks at the bottom? Do better. Thirteen, Misha. Fourteen, Rye. Fifteen, Quirius. Sixteen, Doug. Seventeen, Alex, ex, uh, uh, Excellency. Eighteen, Rail. Not Rail. Not Rail chipped in. Nineteen, Tommy. Twenty, Cam. Twenty-one, DC. DC chipped in. I know y'all lying. Adriel. Kalanis. Marilyn. Oh, tell Marilyn I said thank you. And Queenie. Tell him I said thank you. Tell him I said thank you, please. Tell him I said thank you. Sam. Joyce. Rodales. Thank you all so much. But I really am nervous. Like, I really am, like, get, I'm, I'm getting butterflies because, like, I just feel like I don't feel comfortable going anywhere anymore. I genuinely don't. I feel uncomfortable. I'm, like, I feel like I'm forced to go because, like, you, you know, you gave it to me. But I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like a little uneasy. I'm, like, ooh, like, I have to actually go now. And then by myself at that, I'm, like, ooh, ooh. Yeah, um, but thank y'all so much. Like, for real, I'm so blessed to have people that, like, think about me enough to do stuff like this. Like, for real, like, I may not have, like, where I'm, like, one of the current girls who are being traveled all over the world and and constantly being booked 24-7 and being invited to the show all the time. But what I have accumulated from just being on one time is a dedicated... I mean, even though some of them are new and they weren't around a couple of months ago and they were actually just now becoming new fans and where were they years ago when, when, when the season aired. But anyway, um, no, you have to have your petty moment. Um, but that I accumulated, you know, some true people that have been here from the, from the since then, from the beginning, from the beginning, you know, and I've only been on one time. And they still have stuck with me throughout all the so-called cancellations, all the bull, all that stuff. So I have to really say, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, that I have such a dedicated, it's a small, now mind you, yes, I have a huger fan base. But I have a small handheld of people, you know, that really will do stuff like that for me. So thank y'all. Thank you guys so much. Let's get to the show for real now. Um, I expect this. I have the most badges, and I... I still don't get how Roxy has the most badges, but I mean, I just forgot about the season. <laughs> uh, so, I'm good. Well, no, Roxy, I... I I'm no, good. I'm gonna say what I have to say, ho. <laughs> I was not faking it. No, bitch, like, girl, I was stalling. Do y'all think Angela, Angela was just being petty, or she really was trying to just play the game of, like, who has the most badges, or both? I'm not really good at anything, you guys. Let me... She finally admits it. <laughs> it was just luck. I just not. I, I'm just. Nina, stay quiet. Or you can have all the Asia coming to your to, to your DMs. Aki Cho, we kill you! <laughs> I hated that entrance just now. <laughs> so this week, I'm coming for the top spot. That's the only. Who put these dang baby boot curls in Jordan's hair in this congressional? Who did it? Who did it? Who need to get fired? You've all been working tirelessly. Ow. I live for this suit, but it kind of almost looked like pajamas, too. <laughs> but I still live for it. The contents of a beautiful fruit basket. By the way... Wait, are cucumbers a fruit? Because that's what I see in there. <laughs> today is considered fruit. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> he heard me. Okay, thank you, Ruth. <laughs> like, what in the fruit roll-up um, font? <laughs> Now we know she ain't packing like that. <laughs> it's the small itty bitty ones that just kind of get lost. In other words, he's saying he has no walls, so do not try to top him unless you're packing. Got it. I just feel bad for the fruit they have to suffer through this. I really do, and I, and I hope that they're getting counseling after this. I thought about fruit carrying fruit, you know what? <laughs> I would purposely fart when it's the cucumber and be like, right in front of Bruno's face and be like, Ooh, that vegetable stink. Did you smell that, child? You got it. Oh, come on, let me Now you know she gonna win with them thighs. Child. She could, she, she could put a penny there and carry the penny over and, and, and the penny won't fall. 
<laughs> Here comes a cucumber. I'm making pickles for a I like, she wearing no white pants. I'm like, yeah. I don't think that's the fruit. I think she pooped. <laughs> poop, poop, peep, peep. Nina West. <laughs> the other Nina won. Congratulations. Wait, I'm oh, sorry, wait. It's me first. And then we have Nina West, Nina Flowers. I think that's all the Nina's on Drag Race, I think so. Well, they have a new Nina now on Drag Race Mexico. They don't count. So, <laughs> the other, other Nina won. My bad. This could be a power move. Thank you, pit crew. Now the next one challenge should be carrying a fruit with your feet. She gonna win again. <laughs> My all stars. Hell, I hated that shot just now. Like it's showing the guy's booty cheeks and then showing Roxy looking down like, oh yeah. <laughs> I cannot see Roxy topping somebody. I hate that image just now, why? The boys in the band, all about Eve. The mirror crack. So I think it's another acting challenge with a bunch of old classic white movies. All right. Oh yeah, and they get the co-star with RuPaul. Some more slap moments. It's time to film meeting in the- Wasn't the blonde perm version of Garnet's here from Steven Universe? <laughs> All squared, but somehow still shaped. Happy birthday, RuPaul. You're late. Oh, I bought that. <laughs> more so the face, I bought the face, but like the way she walked in, she, girl, I got scared. I'm like, wait, am I in trouble? Did George just hear me? Like, girl, like, um, my bad, like, my bad. I, I was joking, girl. I like your hair. It's not a square, it's a circle. Girl. I am not one of your fans. Maybe they're asking for overacting. Is she doing Mommy Dearest? I, I think so, I don't, I don't know. Someone said, why on All Stars are they teaching the All Stars how to act? Mm. <laughs> Shouldn't they all know? Like that. I thought this was the ladies' room. I mean, Nina looks nice here, actually. <laughs> Not her doing her best looks during the acting challenges. Mama Ru. Okay. <laughs> Girl, what in the sophisticated yet still ghetto version of Baps? <laughs> I told y'all. Y'all Yo, know I pad, but Ann Jerry's booty is too big for her. <laughs> The pro proportions are pro 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 proportioning somehow. Parroting the film Mildred Pierce. It is very. I wonder did they, did they have them watch it in their hotel the night before because half of the movies they haven't seen. So I'm like, um, or did they, did they give them YouTube clips? Right. Whoever does it, don't take up too long tonight. Okay. okay. I know that's right. Could they be taking forever? <laughs> Introducing Lady Nina Bonina Quinevere Brown of St. Charles, Riverdale, Georgia. I'm acting. I don't think I like this. It, Cause I'm like, it just, from far, it, it almost looks like, it looks unfinished, but then it also looks like it's too short, or it's supposed to be short, or it's supposed to be, I don't know. Maybe also the hair? Yeah, I think I wanna pass on this. Like, like I don't know, like, if, I, I feel like, cause I'm like, yeah, is it supposed to be a swimsuit? Then I guess, but I'm like, it's just too short. I think like, it's too short. Like, it almost looks like it was, it was supposed to be a gown, but she was like, you know what? Take the bottom part off. Like that, that kind of kind of gives me. In the girl groups, Michelle's in her side eighties. Kiss of life. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? Crystal clear. <laughs> I think that was that thing they call acting, but just once again, don't quote me. Special guest judge Colton Haynes. Are you? Girl, who's honky dory honky dory uncle is this? <laughs> he gives me typical douchebag jock guy with peace things in his jock rep. You know the ones y'all live for or an um ex. Somebody said he played the jock in like, I guess, Teen Way. Yeah, duh, like, he has that stereotypical jock, square face, butt chin look. Like, <laughs> Disney Haunted Mansion fantasy, walking down the runway. And so this is widow, make, like, so a, a widow look. Um, the makeup is, 
I actually like the makeup because it, it looks nothing like Nina West. Like, she looks different. So, I, I'll give her props on that. Props to you, mama. But as far as the outfit, though, I don't think I like it. But, yeah, I'll, I'm going to leave it in the store, but I will touch it and be like, hmm, nice fabric. Oh, excuse me. Then I reveal. Yeah, I still hate it. It's too wide. <laughs> it's too wide. <laughs> Baby, the widow doll is walking. This is gonna be when Gaga did like, um, and, and Trinity K um, Taylor did like that look with the blood of the white dress, whatever. Um, but you know what though? I'm gonna rent this. Cause I mean, I do like how the blood kind of turns to like stars, whatever. So it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna rent this. And I love the shape of the dress at the bottom. Uh, up next, Angeria. I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> she didn't, she didn't have to walk down further. I mean, like, it, it's kind of giving like, you know, costume, but, and I'm gonna buy it. I like it already. So I'm done. Widow fantasy bitch. And she looks sickening up close. Yes, ma'am, the face is painted tonight. <laughs> Everybody wearing this same sculpted wig by the same person. You know what? But it looks really good. Like, I'm like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Silk Aoyai, which is our ceremony. I mean, it's pretty, but I feel like I've seen it already from her. Like, it almost, like, like, like for real, like, it's, it's giving, like, maybe, like, her promo look. Like, I feel like I've seen this look already. Like, but also... How's it a widow? It's not really a widow look. You know, it's not, it's like, she just said, like, yeah, it's for any ceremonial thing, but it's not a widow look. Like, but I'll, I would have bought it if it went, if it went more with the theme, but I'll rent it. An apple from this woman. And I am now able to rejoin. <laughs> I hated that face just now. Um, I mean, it's, you know, your typical, like, gown, like, royal, boosty, boosty a hips gown dress thing. So I'll rent it. I'll rent it. Oh, dear. As I'm walking down the runway, I'm crying. <laughs> no, she, I'm mad. Georgia kind of looked Asian tonight. I don't know if the way she did her eyes. Was going. But also, I think a lot of the girls are like trying to, you know, be so cool and hip and not and overdo the challenges. Like, just give me a widow. Getting a red corset dress that's fitting. Um, why? I actually liked it before she took the, um, took it off. Like, <laughs> you know, but yeah, it's just a dress. Like, it's just, like, okay. Um, and maybe if it had more body, I, I would appreciate it more. I, mean, I think I'm going to pass on it. But I did like her entrance for her crying, though. Angie. The bastard done died. I'm giving you... I'm buying this. Yes, ma'am. Now, this is still a widow, but sexy. Like, it, like clearly it's a widow. She's wearing black. She's a widow. Like, this is... this To me, to me this this meets the assignment while also being, like, fashionable or whatever the case is. Or sexy. So, like, I'm buying this. And I live for those um stockings, too. Yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> It's probably the best that Vandy's body has like looked like you know outfit wise like that was really actually really sexy. <laughs> I like to treat myself. Black cup of coffee. We know it ain't a man unless it's long, hot, white. <laughs> I could always get you a part playing my grandmother. Oh, turned read ooh. <laughs> no, Bruce Bruce killing it. <laughs> oh, not by man you mean Michelle Massage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and where I pause it at? This is my thumbnail. This is literally my thumbnail right here. Yes. <laughs> I am a mess of Yeah. <laughs> the drama. You must be. I kind of bought that so far. <laughs> Roxy Andrews. Hey. Under the name of Cupcake. And I live for that cupcake part. Ow. <laughs> Now that slap, that slap was so bad. <laughs> oh, she looks scary there. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Not that pause at the end. <laughs> Look like a damn gerbil. You know what? Blackmail. What did you call me? Andrea? Who's Andrea looking at? <laughs> like they could have done a better job of her, like actually, like making it look like she's looking at RuPaul. I'm like, who's she looking at? Who over there? <laughs> she sees that thing in the corner that I see. Um. <laughs> what kind of recovery? And then walking back all crow legged. <laughs> that won't be necessary. So far, out of all of them, plastic is kind of falling short. And one of them I did skip. Um, but out of all of them, I'm like, uh, it's definitely not her hillbilly character. Ooh. Hey, hey. Oh. It's definitely, a, I think it's human because if that was, if that was synthetic, girl, she'd have been tangled all on that, trying to get out of it, like cobwebs. <laughs> you invite me to all stars! 
You're the yeah, I think she is supposed to be like the mommy dearest thing, which is why the extra dress and all that in the mouth. That was definitely. My I love how she got slapped on her right side, but grabbed the left side of her face. <laughs> Happy birthday, RuPaul! Ow! <laughs> Texas drag queen. And as it takes me a minute to pull my lips to gorge. Why is she giving me more cheat she here than she, did, than she did on her um snatch game? For some reason, I'm like, okay, she could be cheat -chi, Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like they gave her more to do as well. So they, they must want her to win this challenge because like, she has a lot more to do. <laughs> I thought we were gonna say, so my chair, you gonna just take it, okay? <laughs> it ain't dancing. I also do nails. I could do your Vanjie looks good, but the issue is it's always Vanjie. <laughs> I'm like, is she doing bad or is it just maybe because the voice is just so she can't escape the voice that like everything just seems like the same thing. It's like it's Vanjie. Like you know, it's like nothing different, it's, it's Vanjie. Um, okay. Wait just a minute, RuPaul. Ew, I hated her. <laughs> you could tell she was ready to, she was ready to get hit. <laughs> like, she was so obvious, like, I'm about to get hit. hit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bruno was the best one. <laughs> like, he actually made me laugh. I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna say who that black man that was Raven, and, I, and I'm not even joking. I was like, who's that black man? And and, and then it was so I'm like, oh, that's Raven. Oh. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, I think this part is going on too long. Like it was kind of funny, like you know him just slapping everybody that works there. But it's like, okay, you, you can cut it now. Like, okay, like <laughs> it was it was funny at first. But who are these people? I swear, these are, I had they must have hired a whole bunch of new people that I don't remember at all being there. And then that last Mexican guy was happy. <laughs> Angeria Paris I actually thought it would have been Nina West and, and Georges. I really did. I really think I like, not that Angeria did bad, but I feel like I enjoyed Georges' skit more. So I really thought it was actually going to be Georges. So I'm surprised actually. So, hey, so good. Okay. Congratulations, Angeria and Nina West. Somebody said that Chanel's just there just to be, just to be there. <laughs> Poor Chanel. Even Brian and Bobette, they're still doing her how, how they did her on season one. <laughs> Dang, Jerry, you're happy. <laughs> I actually think Nina West is doing pretty good. But it's, but her and this look, it just like throws it off. It's like, it throws it off. But I, I think I'm actually buying her singing it better than Angeria. And here's not doing bad though. But I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm actually thinking I like Nina West better in this song. Even though the costume is, th is throwing it off, but whatever. Can't buy an Angie there. Okay. <laughs> Angeria. Oh. Honestly, Nina West for me could have won that, but congratulations to Angeria. You know, Laura. Something's going on. I don't know if they're pushing Angeria. She's doing good. Don't get me wrong. She's doing good, but I don't know if they're pushing. Oh, I don't know if they just want to keep the drama with her and Roxy going or whatever the case is. But I'm like, okay, that's. I'm surprised. Like, I'm like, they must, they must have really liked her on her season for real then. You didn't need to use the immunity you earned this week. That's nice, but can I still keep the immunity <laughs> for next week? Well, I'm gone. No. <laughs> 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 That's so obvious. Like, she ain't gonna really do it. I love you, okay? And I love I know Benji's like, didn't I tell you what behind to next time do it faster? I'm tired of staying here. <laughs> As she should. <laughs> Girl, she probably wanted to do plastic. Was like, no, I still want to go to Tokyo. <laughs> right, now let the music play. Yeah, in my mind, Andrea did that for me. Thank you, sis. You rock. Okay, well that has been the episode. It actually wasn't too bad, but just too long as always. Like, like just so much could be cut out. Like maybe the judging, the some of that could be cut down. The act, some of the, just some stuff can be cut down to make the show just seem for me a little more bearable. <laughs> 
But it wasn't bad though. And actually, like I actually kind of enjoyed the acting challenge. It wasn't too bad. It actually it was actually pretty enjoyable. So yeah. Let me know down below what y'all think of this episode. Y'all agree with the outcome and everything. So yeah, thank y'all for um watching another raw view. And um I maybe stay tuned for the season two raw view, maybe. So but yeah, anyway, remember to stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kamochi. Bye bye. Uh, that's all folks. And... <laughs>